software as long as there are no clear signs of physical or liquid damage, a powerful smartphone like your Samsung Galaxy S10 should only be experiencing some minor firmware setbacks, if it turned off by itself and would no longer power on. If you've heard of a system crash, that's probably what happened to your device. And while it may seem like a very serious hardware problem, in reality, it's just a very minor issue that you, as an average user, should be able to fix. Hi, this is Felix from TheCellGuide.com, and in this video, I will be showing you how to fix your Galaxy S10 that won't turn on. First solution, perform force restart on your Galaxy S10. Most of the time, this is the best thing you can do if your smartphone won't turn on or not responding, because the most common cause of such problem is a firmware crash. In fact, it happens to many electronic devices that have firmwares. When it happens, the device would no longer respond and we often remove the battery or disconnect from power source. However, you cannot do that because it has a non-removable battery. The only thing you can do is this, which is a simulated battery removal procedure. Here's how it's done. Just simply press the volume down and power buttons at the same time, until the Galaxy S10 logo appears on the screen. However, if your phone won't respond after you do the first method, then, move to the next solution. Second solution, connect phone to charger and perform forced reboot again. There are times when a simple battery drain will result to a firmware crash, because some services and components may not be shut down properly, once the device's battery is depleted. Having a drained battery isn't a problem at all, but when it's accompanied by a firmware crash, that's when the issue starts, because your device won't respond even if it's connected to the charger. Here's what you need to do about it. Plug the charger to a working wall outlet, and then connect the phone to it. Regardless of whether the phone shows the charging symbol or not, leave it connected to the charger for at least 10 minutes. While the phone is still connected to the charger, press and hold the volume down button and the power key at the same time for 10 seconds or more. However, if your Galaxy S10 still not turning on even after doing these troubleshooting procedures, then, it's time you brought it to the store where you bought it, or to the Samsung repair shop, so that the technician can check it up for you. As far as troubleshooting a Galaxy S10 that won't turn on is concerned, those are the solutions that worked with others. I hope that this simple troubleshooting video has been able to help you one way or the other. Please subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you can stay up to date with the cell guide. Thanks for watching.